what is going on guys before we get into the video i want to talk about the first ever giveaway i'm going to do all right so a couple years ago i wrote this book um i talked about it a bunch in my last video don't really want to waste too much time with that but i'm going to be giving one of these away all right so to get entered in the giveaway all you've got to do is comment down below uh with how many fish i caught on the high low rig in this video so if you notice I'm using two different setups in this video, uh, a white rod with a fish finder rig, and then a black rod with a high-low rig. So let me know how many vid how many fish I caught uh, on the high-low rig with the black rod. A couple more terms and conditions for the giveaway. One, you've got to be a subscriber, so make sure you do that now. Uh, two, you've got to follow me on Instagram, because that is how I will let you know who won. I will let this video, uh, this contest run for a week, for one week from the time this video uploads and then I will pick a winner using a random number generator. All right, lastly, uh, you have to be over 18 years old to enter and you've got to live in the US because I'm not going to ship this thing out interna internationally. All right, so hope you uh, enjoy the video and I hope you take part of this giveaway. All right. All right, what is going on guys? I am still here in Bayonne, New Jersey. It's a cold one today, low 30s, rain is just starting, it's supposed to turn over to snow in a couple hours. So we'll see how much time we can spend out here. All right, uh, I'm on this little dock down in downtown Bayonne. Fished here a whole bunch in high school and college, so another spot with a bunch of memories. The plan's gonna be the same as in the last video. I got two setups, a fish finder setup with a whole blood worm uh, down on the bottom. So we'll fish this one out pretty deep, and I got my secondary setup right here. All right, high low rig with some smaller pieces of bloodworms. So it is cold, it's supposed to get colder. Um, I'll just cast it out, see how long it takes. Hopefully we get some stripers, maybe some spotted hake, and uh, we'll see what happens, all right? All right, we got a hit on the big rod. Not sure if I actually have a fish or not. If I do, it's gonna be a small one. Oh, smallest striper of my life. Didn't even think I had a fish, but Quick pick, we'll get this guy back and hope for something bigger. All right, while I was releasing that little striper, I think I got a hit over on this rod. Mm, yeah, it feels like another little guy. Another tiny, tiny striper. About the same size as the last guy. So, beautiful fish, but hope we could get something a little bit bigger coming up here. Right. Got a nice hit on the little rod. Should be a bigger fish than those last two little dink stripers. Not putting up much of a fight, so I'm not sure about that. Let's see what we got. Nope. Oh, just dropped it. It was another tiny striper. About the same size as the last guys. So, they're out there. It's nothing too big so far. I still got my worms on the hooks there. I think I just got a hit on a little rod. Oh yeah, we got a fish here. Not sure of the size. Putting up a decent fight, but I'm afraid it's just gonna be another one of those little eight inch stripers. Well, not an eight inch striper but, I don't know, 10, 12 inches, so still super tiny. All right, still waiting for that big guy to show up. 
not much size on this guy at all, but beautiful fish. Hopefully he grows up, becomes that 40, 50 pounder people catching a couple falls. Another hit on the little rod. Uh, don't think there's a fish on here. Actually, you know what there might be? Might be another little dink bass. Let's check. Ooh, all right, new species for the day. It is not a dink bass. It is a little white perch. So same genus as the striper, just a little bit different. I mean, you can see the similarities between this guy and the striper. But like I said, same genus, different species. So pretty cool, different fish. There we go. Fish on here. Probably another small one, not putting up much of a fight. Let's see what we got. Come on, guy. Another white perch. All right, not a striper. Same genus, though, just like I was talking about earlier. Looks really similar, a little bit, uh, I guess you could say wider, and no stripes, but other than that, pretty similar to a striper. All right, so I'm running out of blood worms, also a little tired of catching those dink fish, hoping for something a little bit bigger. So when I first got here to this dock, there was actually a seagull sitting here eating this piece, well, this whole bunker. All right, so I'm sure someone left it a day or two ago. Uh, it's getting a little bit mushy, but all I did, cut out a little chunk, put that out on the hook, and I'll see if I can get something a little bit bigger on this. Maybe not. We'll reel it in and see. It doesn't feel like it. Oh yeah, we do. Alright, so earlier when I said that was the smallest striper I caught, I was just kidding. Uh, this is now the smallest striper that I've ever caught. another hit yeah feel a little bit of weight on this one so again I'm not gonna break the scales but still a little bit of action better than nothing what do we got this time another tiny striper so I mean I'm not catching obviously anything of any size but at least it's good to know that there's some small stripers out here it means they're reproducing and should, should be well for the future of this fishery. Right. Hit on the sandworms again. Don't think I have anything on here. Might, oh, maybe I do. If I do, it's gonna be another small one. Oh, definitely, yep, definitely something on here. Now it's fighting. Let's see what it is. It's gotta be another small striper, right? Right. Uh, another tiny guy. Right. We got a fish on the little rod. At least I think we do. Don't feel it anymore. Well, that's probably because it's only a four inch striper. Take a look. It is freezing, by the way. Oh, we do have a fish. What do we got? It is a four inch striper. All right. Lost track of how many of these guys I got, but it's a, a bunch. Nothing huge, but again, good news. There's a lot of little fish out here. It means they're reproducing well. So that's always good. All right, 
Another fish on this one. Probably a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yep, definitely fighting better than the little four inch stripers. So I don't know if it's a larger striper or what. But not big, but I think this might be the biggest fish of the day. And it is a striper, bigger than bigger than what I've been dealing with, but by no means a big fish. I don't know, maybe 14 inches. Huh. Small fish, but like I said, biggest fish of the day. It's a little embarrassing. Biggest fish of the day is only 14 inches. But hey, fishing's fishing, you never know what you're gonna get. Rain's starting to come down a little bit harder, and it's also hailing a bit. So I'm down to three small pieces of bloodworms. Once I'm out of those, call it a day. Got nothing on that bunker chunk so far. Might have a fish. Not sure. It's on my last piece of bloodworm though. So I would actually not be upset if it took the bait and ran. So no fish, but the bait's still there. So let's give this another shot. All right, it's straight hailing now. It's freezing. My feet are wet. My hands are all red. Can't really feel my fingers. Couple more minutes and I am calling it a day no matter what. Alrighty, so I am gonna call it a day. It is freezing. Uh, it's been raining the whole time now. It just turned into hail. This entire dock feels like an ice rink. But overall, tons of action. Unfortunately, not not really uh, the size that I was looking looking for. Hoping, really hoping for. I wasn't looking for a big size. I'll talk about that in a minute. But tons of stripers. The biggest one might have been 14 inches or so. Uh, most of them probably about seven or eight inches. And the bait. So bloodworms. Uh, also sandworms. Didn't use those, but. Bloodworm sandworms, great striper bait, as was proven here in this video, they love them. Uh, in the spring, you'll catch some big stripers on them. As the seasons go on, summer, fall, and then winter, probably not gonna catch big stripers on worms. Right, later on in the year, they like to eat uh, larger, larger bait items. So we're talking bunker, uh, used that for a little bit today, didn't get anything on there, but bunker, clams, that sort of thing. Uh, worms are great if you just wanna catch fish, and you'll catch fish, a lot of fish, big fish in the spring, but as, if you want to get bigger fish as the season goes on, the year goes on, you're going to need to get some bigger bait. And then last, I just want to talk about being back home. Uh, it felt great to hit up some of the same spots I fished at throughout high school and college, so that was great. A lot of fun. Always good to be home, um, but I'm excited to get back down to South Florida and get out of this weather. Hopefully, um, my flight's not canceled or delayed tomorrow and I can make it back and get in the warm weather soon. All right, so I hope you guys like this. Uh, let me know what you think, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.